माई डियर यंग लर्नर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट एस आर एन नॉलेज सेंटर आई एम द फैकल्टी ऑफ हिस्ट्री एट एस आर एन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल जगतपुरा जापुर टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ हिस्ट्री इन द लास्ट स्लाइड्स वी आर डिस्कस द थ्री कॉजेज ऑफ फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन द नेक्स्ट दैट इज द फोर्थ कॉज ऑफ द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन वॉज द रोल ऑफ द फिलोसोफर्स now in every revolution the philosophers plays a very greater role philosophers guides the society on which path the society needs to move so that they can get their rights they can demand their rights similarly in the french revolution also there were three philosophers namely john locke rousseau and montesquieu john locke wrote one book with the name with the title two treaties of the government where he said that he do not believe in the doctrine of the divine and absolute right the king of those times used to say that they are being sent by the almighty over here to rule over the masses what john locke said he do not believe in this doctrine of the divine that these monarch are the representatives of the almighty rousseau you said that there should be a relationship social relationship between the people and the government he wrote a book called as social contract where he mentioned that the people should elect their own representatives and those representatives should rule over the entire country the third philosopher was montesquieu who said in his book the spirit of the laws that the same government which is elected by the people the power of that government should be divided in three organs that is legislature executive and judiciary so other than these philosophers the middle class people the third estate people carried the ideas of these philosophers to the masses to all those people who were illiterate they used to dictate they used to narrate these ideas of the philosophers to them so that the public the masses can be ready for the revolution this middle class consisted of the professionals educated ones such as lawyers administrative officials and they also believed that no group in the society should be privileged by birth so this was the power of the middle class who were propagating the ideas of philosophers to the masses now these ideas were been discussed by the masses by the public in saloons in chorayas in coffee houses and they were being discussed by the people through books and newspapers this was during that time and louis 16 was planning to impose further taxes on the people of third estate so that the empty treasury can get some uh, revenue and the state can meet their expenses when this news got leaked and it got to the masses the masses got angered and they started their protest against the system of privileges my dear young friends during that time the monarch didn't had the power to impose taxes according to his will hence he needed to call the meeting of the parliament called as estate general now in this estate general this meeting was called on 5th may 1789 where members from all the three estates were present that is 300 members of first estate 300 members of the second estate and 600 members of the third estate women artisans were not allowed now these members there was a tradition in this estate general that every estate will have one vote but the third estate members demanded to the monarch that instead of having every estate one vote why not to have every members a single vote every member should have one vote but this demand was rejected by the king when the demand of the third estate was rejected by the king the third estate members moved out of the parliament of the estate general after moving out these members met at a tennis court in versailles on 28 june 1789 and they declared this estate general as national assembly they also took an oath that they will frame one constitution for france and that constitution would limit the powers of the monarch now when on 14 july 1789 the agitated crowd stormed and destroyed the bastille prison this development took place when 
there was the rumors that the monarch have ordered the troops the military to enter into the capital city paris this was during that time when the masses were already tripled crippled in the problems like bad harvest because of the rising bread prices and the people were already waiting in the queues to get the basic meals outside the food shops so during that time when there were rumors like the king is sending the troops the masses were angered and on 14 july 1789 they stormed the bastille prison now after the french revolution started or took break on took uh, initiated on 14 july 1789 let us discuss some of the consequences of the french revolution what were the consequences of the french revolution so consequences were that louis 16 failed to suppress the revolt of the people he recognized the national assembly in place of the east state general he adopted that the principle that now from now on his powers would be checked by the elected representatives that is by the constitution on 4th of august 1789 the same national assembly abolished the feudal system of privileges of the first and the second east state tete the tax which was being levied by the church on the third estate was being abolished and the land which was being holded by the church was confiscated and the state received a revenue of 2 billion livres and through that the entire debt of france was waived off now in 1791 the constitution of france got ready the national assembly adopted that constitution whose objective was to limit the powers of the monarch and through that constitution the powers of the government were divided into legislature who will be framing the laws executive who will be implementing the laws and judiciary who will be checking and hence france became a constitutional monarchy now this national assembly started making new kind of laws the first law which the national assembly framed was the new division of the society the entire society was divided into two citizens active citizens and passive citizens active citizens were those males who were more than the 25 years of age and who were paying the taxes equivalent to 3 days wages of the laborers they had the right to pay uh, voting rights and passive citizens were those who were who do not had the right of vote that is all those males below the age of 25 years all those males above the age of 25 years but were not paying taxes women children youths these were the passive citizens so my dear friends i hope you all must have learned and understood the causes of the french revolution the consequences of the french revolution and the uh, constitution of 1791 the rest of the part of french revolution will be discussed in the for the videos if you have loved my explanation please do share like comment and subscribe to the srn knowledge center thank you so much everyone god bless you all thank you